Hi everyone and welcome to John Sather's Auto Repair. Today I want to talk about doing a tune-up on a vehicle and the customer had a previous tune-up done and the engine never really quite ran right. It had a misfire and it just it wasn't that great. And if you look at the distributor cap, when the end of the spark plug wire slides on the cap, you can see that all these are going all the way on. If you look over here, that's all the way on. Look at that. It's not even on. It's barely on. This one's all the way on, this one's all the way on. So I don't know if you can see inside of there that this is all discolored. It's all burned up inside of there. So it has a huge arcing problem. So it's not gonna run good from the very beginning. Another thing when you have a General Motors um, car you wanna use or truck, you wanna use General Motors spark plugs or an AC Delco spark plug. And it had an Autolite Platinum spark plug in it. It has a lot of deposits on top of the spark plugs and that could be from the fuel, and it could just be from a long period of time too. But it's always a safe bet to use what the engineers designed to come in the vehicle, put that spark plug back in the vehicle. Another problem GMs have and other vehicles have is the ignition rotors get burned up, and you can see the white marking behind the ignition rotor in there, and then you can see these white markings here. What will happen is that if you burn a little hole, if you don't replace this, it'll burn a little hole through there, it'll ground the distributor shaft, and you'll have a no start condition or a drivability condition that's pretty hard to find. When I do these type of repairs, I always buy the parts right from the, from the manufacturer AC Delco parts that the vehicle came with. So I just wanted to point those things out when you're doing this kind of work, and then when you put the spark plugs in, you can take an old spark plug boot and just slide it on the spark plug, and then when you screw the spark plug in, it makes it very easy. You can feel how that's going in the threads it makes it very easy to install. Then you want to look at the specifications when you use a torque wrench and the torque specs for this particular truck is 13 foot-pounds. We had to use a half-inch breaker bar to get the spark plugs up because someone put them in there like 40 or 50 foot-pounds. So a little tip from John Sanders when you're doing these kind of things and you're pushing the wires on and everything look afterwards when you get done installing them and make sure all your boots are all the way flush to the end. It's very easy to not get a boot all the way on and wonder why your vehicle is not operating at the optimal level that it could. So thank you very much and have a great day.